We're here with sophomore forward Federica Fru and senior back Brianna Kenny as the Yellow Jackets prepare to take on the Bridgeport Purple Knights in the second round of the NCAA Division II Women's Soccer Tournament. Guys, we began the tournament with a 3-1 win over Stonehill. What was critical to the team's success on both sides of the ball? Um, I think uh, definitely yesterday it was probably our best performance as a team throughout the whole year. I think it was like complete from forwards to the backs to the midfielders to the keepers and to everyone else, you know, part of the team. We was just it was just a really strong team effort, and we came out. We knew what we had to do, and um, we executed we executed our game plan. And, and we know that when we execute our game plan, like we we're going to beat any team we can, and that was just like proof of it yesterday. Yeah, we possessed the ball really well, so it made the jobs for the back a lot easier. Um, they couldn't keep up with anyone. Next task is Bridgeport. It's a team that you opened the season against. Bridgeport won one nothing, scored four minutes into the game, but it was a pretty even contest throughout. What did you learn from that game that will help this time? Uh, we definitely have to shut down passing lanes. Uh, they like to play a lot of through balls, and their midfielders like to push through the pockets, so as long as we shut that down. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be tough um, matching up in the midfield because... Um, they play a different formation to us, but I think if we we match up to them anyway, we're at their level. We can we can beat them. We know that we just need to execute. That's that's the thing again. We just need to execute the game plan. You know, follow the coach's instructions and um, uh, put our chances away and um, minimize our mistakes. And I think we'll be fine. You alluded to it, Fetty, that Bridgeport plays a four-four-two, different structure from the Yellow Jackets that play a four-three-three. What is it specific that you'll look to do against that type of a formation that might be different from a team like Stonehill that plays a 4-3-3? Well, they'll outnumber us in the midfield, so a lot of times their center or midfielder will push through. So I think as long as uh, our center backs pick that up, yeah, we can stay compact. Yeah, I think obviously they'll have the extra extra girl up on us in the midfield, but as long as um, when we're defending, if it's an outside forward that has to pinch in or... You know, someone has to just rotate through to pick up the extra player. Um, you know, as long as we communicate it well, I think we'll be fine. Like, we've matched up against the 4-4-2 before, and we've done really well, so I don't, I don't see if the, that there'll be any issue. Um, team has struggled at times to find the touch to finish scoring chances. Wasn't the case against Stonehill. A lot of shots on target, three goals. What was the difference on Friday, and how does the team continue to have that success tomorrow? Um, I think yesterday we were just, I think up top, like because I play up top, we just like connected so well, like all of us, like from the backs to the midfielders to the forwards, like, and then we just like, all of us three forwards that were on the field, like we connected really well with each other and we created, there's a difference between creating like a lot of chances but then creating like really like clear cut chances and we created like a really good amount of clear cut chances and yesterday we just like we were ruthless and we put, put them away you know and that's that's been a that has been one of our issues this year was it's just like putting putting our chances away and yesterday um you know it was really good that the girls stood up and you know put the chances away because it was a do or die game you know you don't get a second chance after that so it was really good to see Wind was certainly a factor on Friday, and it's forecasted to be pretty windy again at game time against the Purple Knights. How does that factor into your on-field decision-making when you have a heavy wind? It was obviously difficult to move the ball in the first half when you were playing into the wind. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you want to keep the ball on the ground as much as possible, and defensively, if the team's going to play a lot of long balls, you need to make sure you're giving the right amount of depth so it doesn't beat everybody and one girl slip through. Yeah, I think um, it's going to be tough because they do have quick um, quick and clever forwards and yeah. midfielders. Um, so we just need to be aware, we need to communicate that um, the backs just need to drop off if they're going to keep playing the long balls because um, we don't want to be chasing anyone. So I think, yeah, it's just going to be about communication and good decision making. In the end, you're just going to have to be on your toes and be making the smartest decisions. Perfect. Thanks so much, ladies. No worries.